Maybe you're new to the drums and want to learn some songs to kickstart things. Maybe you've been playing for a long time and you just kind of got the blast and you need to learn some songs to put some fun back into your practice time. Whatever the reason is, we're about to learn five songs in 10 days. And if you'll stick with me to the end of this, I've got a huge surprise at the end of the video. And before you go saying, Steven, there's no way I could learn five songs in 10 days. Let me just say, I have taught thousands of drummers around the world via my online drum school. I do this every day with students. Stick with me you're gonna be all right. Day one, we're focusing on Highway to Hell by ACDC. The key to this is outside of your practice time, be listening to these songs as much as possible. At the top of the song, the drums are out for four measures. When we come in, we're gonna be playing eight notes on the hi-hat. One and two and three and four and two and four on the snare drum. One and two and three and four and. For the first measure of this song, he actually only plays one and three on the kick drum. But in the verses throughout the song, the group Groove is one and three on the kick drum, and then he also plays the and a four on the kick drum. Here's what it sounds like. Three and four and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and Now to the chorus groove. The chorus groove is very similar, but we're gonna change up the bass drum pattern a little bit. Hi-hat still stays on eighth notes, but we're gonna open the hi-hat a little bit. So instead of sounding like this, it sounds like this. The bass drum is gonna be what we call four on the floor. So it's gonna be playing quarter notes. One, two, three, four. This drum part actually matches up with the vocal line. So it's gonna go, highway to hell, one, two, three, four, one. So we have a crash on the second measure. It's a two bar loop. We have a crash on beat three, beat four, and then beat one. On the chorus, we're still playing eighth notes on the hi-hat, but now we're gonna have sloshy hi-hats. Two and four on the snare drum, and then we're gonna play four on the floor with a kick drum. So one, two, three, four. This is a two bar loop because remember we have the vocal line. Highway to hell, two, three, four, one. So we have crashes on beat three, beat four, and beat one. But it's a two bar loop. Sometimes he moves the snare drum to beat three, but that's, that's on occasion. We're mostly gonna play the snare drum on beat four. Here's what it sounds like. For the second verse, we go back to that first groove we learned. For the second chorus, we go back to that first chorus groove that we learned. Now, after the second chorus before the solo, there's a little bit of a breakdown, and he does something a little bit different there, but it goes with the guitar part. So after the chorus, the drums stop playing for four beats. One, two, three, four, ba-ga-ga, ba-ga-ga, ba. Remember those hits? Okay, now you can sing those to yourself. That's gonna help you learn them. What he's doing there is he's playing the snare with the crashes, and he's playing one and two and three and four. He does that two times, so four beats of rest, plays that lick. Four beats of rest, plays that lick. And then the drum fill going into the solo is pretty simple. He's gonna play one and, two and, three, four. Let me put those five measures together from the end of the chorus. One, two, three, four.
And that's it for days one and two. We're focusing on that song. I'm willing to bet most of you can catch that on the first day even. This next song is by the Alabama Shakes and it's called Hold On. You'll notice as we go through these songs, they're building on top of each other. The grooves that we're learning, elements that we're learning will build into the next song. When we do drum retreats here at the studio, this is one of my favorite songs to play for warmups with the students. Just like in the last song, and this one's actually slower. The last song was about 116 BPM. This one's about 88 BPM. So what we're gonna do is play eight notes on the hi-hat again. One, two, three, four. Two and four on the snare drum. And now the kick drum is gonna go like this. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three. So this is gonna be days three and four we're focusing on this song. And the secret is, once you learn that groove, you've learned most of the song. He plays the same thing for the verses and the choruses. Now, once you get to the second chorus, at the end of it, you may be like, hold up, Steven, there's some drum fills and some hits there. All right, let's break that down. I'm gonna give you a drum fill that you can play every time that works. He plays some variations of this and some other things, but you don't have to play exactly what he plays on the drum fills. Let's just get the grooves right and let's get the hits right. Now, what he's doing is building to beat two. So what happens is beat one is blank. It goes one, two. So his drum fills are building towards that. Here's the drum fill we're gonna use for that. It's gonna simply be three e anda, four e anda. So we're playing three, four. Once you have those two elements, you've got the entire song. We're already on day five. The third song we're gonna be focusing on, starting on day five, is You Really Got Me. We're doing the Kinks version. The one thing that might be challenging with this is the tempo. It's a little bit higher tempo. Now here's the thing we need to focus on is the guitar line. ba na 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 ba na 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 da na 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 Get that going through your head because the drum part really mimics that. There are two variations of this groove that he plays for the choruses and for the verses. Eighth notes on the hi-hat, just like in the other two songs. Two and four on the snare drum, just like in the other two songs. And what we're gonna do on the bass drum is one and two and. That's gonna be the first variation. He plays that for about half the first verse, and then he segues into this other groove, and it's gonna be a variation of that one. On the kick drum, it's one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four, and it mimics the guitar part. At the end of the chorus, there's a two bar breakdown with the drums. You're gonna continue the groove with just the kick and the snare drum. And th those two measures before the second verse, they're gonna sound like this. We keep those hi-hats sloshy. On the solo, we go to the ride cymbal. And then on the last chorus, he changes this groove up just a little bit. So he plays the variation he has been playing. He throws this other variation in there where the kick drum is going one and two and three, four. You see me clicking my sticks and I have this cheesy saying, it's when in doubt, clap it out. If you can't play the rhythm, put your sticks down, count it and clap the rhythm with your hands until you can clap it. Once you can clap it, then try to incorporate it to the drum set. Here's that variation groove on the last chorus. Three, four. The only other thing we have is the ending lick. It's kind of in time, so if I were to count it in time, the hits would be on one and two and three and four and one and. So the ending would be like. But it's really not in 
steady time. So what I would do is listen to the track and play those hits at the end, but they are one and two and three and four and one and two and. Can you believe this? We're already on the fourth song. I meant to say this earlier. Several of you have asked me about getting a shirt like this. This is an original SDS design. You can check it out in the merch store linked below. For day seven and eight, we're gonna be playing Wake Me Up When September Ends by Green Day. At the top of this song, there's 12 measures where there's no drums. When the drums do come in, it's kick drum and he's playing the snare with a brush, but you can just play it lightly with your stick. The pattern he's playing on the kick drum is one and two and three and the snare drum's moving a little bit. One and two and three and. This is a two measure loop, so the second measure, he has a tambourine, but I would just use my closed hi-hat if you don't have access to a tambourine. So remember, two bar loop, the second measure is one and two and three and four. Let me play those two measures together. Three, four. Eight measures before the first chorus, he builds this groove by adding a flam. Now a flam, instead of just being one single note, it's preceded by a grace note, a note that's slightly lighter than the primary note, and it sounds like this. You'll hear them played a lot in rock music. So he plays the same two bar pattern, but instead of hitting a closed hi-hat or a tambourine, if you got access to one, he hits an open hi-hat. So it's gonna sound like this. He does that two bar pattern four times or for eight measures. Let's go to the second groove he's got there. Eighth notes on the crash cymbal. The kick drum is gonna be playing one and two and three and four. Snare drum accents on two and four, but we have another note in there. So let's play that basic skeleton pattern. Three, four. On the second beat, he's gonna add another note on the snare drum on the uh of two. If you're having trouble playing this, slow it way down until you get it and then speed it back up. As with any song, there are a couple of variations with the groove, some variations of drum fills there, but the one drum fill I want you to learn that he comes back to three or four times starts on the end of beat three, and it's just 16th notes. It's three E and a, uh, four E and a, uh, played with the groove. Three and four and. And that's it for the fourth song. You're already to day nine. And for days nine and 10, we have the most challenging, but we've been building towards it. It's gonna be Starlight by Muse. This is the most challenging part we've come across so far, and it's also the highest tempo at 121 BPM. Before we learn this groove, know that he plays eighth notes with his foot on his hi-hat while he's playing the floor tom. But you do not have to do that to learn this song. That's something you can add later. I do believe it adds a ton to the part, but you can play this song without that and maybe have two levels. I'll learn this on days nine and 10, and then later I'll come back and learn the hi-hat with my foot because that's a skill that maybe we haven't mastered yet. It's totally fine to learn songs like that in a progressive way. All right, so at the top, this is a two bar loop. So it's gonna go around every two measures. The kick drum's gonna go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four, and. Eighth notes here on the floor tom. So kick drum and floor tom together. Three, four. For the snare drum in measure one of this two bar loop, he's playing beat two and then four, and. On the second measure of this loop, he's playing two on the snare drum, then 
and for and. One, two. Now, it's a little challenging, several different parts going on. Let's put all those parts together in this two bar loop. Now, if you want to add the hi-hat with the left foot, this is what that sounds like. Three, four. When he goes to the hi-hat, it's open, and he's playing what I call a reverse boom chick. A boom chick would be like a punk rock beat. Instead of playing the snare drum on the up beats, he's playing it on the down beats. All right, so this is actually a four measure loop that he plays the same way both times. Measure one of this, the kick drum is on the and of two, three, and four. Snare drum is on the down beats. Hi-hat is eighth note sloshy. Three, four, one. On the upbeat of four, he plays a crash cymbal with that. Then we repeat that measure again, but we don't play the crash on the upbeat of four. So it's the same measure with one thing taken away. Let me play those two measures together. Three, four. Now we play those two measures again, but at the end of the second measure, instead of playing four and with the hi-hat snare and kick, we're gonna play four and, flam, kick. Let me play that last measure for you. Three, four, okay, that was a lot. Let me play that slowly for you, all four measures. Three, four, one. Now we have a breakdown where he's playing eighth notes on the ride cymbal. One, two, three, four. Then he moves to an eighth note build on the floor tom and the snare drum. One and two and three and four and, and it gradually gets louder over several measures. Listen to the song, you'll see where it's going. I love Dominic Howard, who's the drummer for Muse, because he's a very parts-driven drummer. So once he plays something, he's usually gonna play it again, very much like Dave Grohl does, as a almost as a hook in the song. The last groove we need to learn for this, he's playing eighth notes on the crash cymbal. Kick drum is gonna be playing one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And that's days nine and 10. You've made it to the end, five songs in 10 days, but now I've got a surprise for you. I've got full song transcriptions for all five of these songs, not just the short parts, but a full song transcription available in the link below this in the video description. Go download that, start your 10 days today, and in 10 days, no five songs.